Hello guys and hope doing well. I finished boxing my milli oh meter and finally this is my project. I connect to leads with banana clips and I'm going to test the project with three wires, two off solder wire and one high quality copper wire very well so the box working with 9 volt battery and it is very easy to change or replace the battery anytime it is going to finish very good so I should say that the quality of the leads wire are very very big point for this kind of projects because of and we are trying to measure milli ohms. Very good. I'm turning on the project. You can see that I have one adjusting volume here to calibrate the device. One auxiliary jack for the soundable or music output or audible output for the milli ohms. And I have one on and off key, also one calibration key. When I'm pressing the calibration key, it is going to 120, 1.200 or 1.20 ohm high quality resistor. If the number going to below or more than 100, 1.195, it need to calibrate with this volume. Very good. This is the calibrated point and I'm going to start the test. At the first part, I'm going to test the high quality copper wire. This is first leg. Connecting the second lead. This is the output. 3 ohms. Going for the 1 mm gauge solar wire. This is the output 3.90. It is near to 4. And the last test is for the solder wire with low quality. All the wires are the same size. Wow, very well. It is. 12.2 ohms it means that this is low quality solder wire and also when the wire is going to dig the ohms also going more very well I have two other videos to show you how to make milli ohmeters in breadboard and in PCB board. Very good. I'm going to disconnect the leads. And one more time check. Yeah, it is calibrated. I'm disconnecting the calibration mode and turn off the device thanks for watching hope to enjoy the video bye bye